Hi everybody, this is Miss Morrow at College Street Elementary and today I'm going to show you how you can make a clock for you to use at your house while you're learning how to tell time. And our clock has the hours on the front and it's going to have the minutes on the inside. So we are going to make this clock today. So to make this clock, you are going to need two paper plates and you're going to need some scratch paper. You're only going to need two colors of scratch paper. So if you have some extra paper laying about, you'll need that. And you will want either a brad to go in the middle that looks like this, but you can also use a paper clip or a broken matchstick or even a little tiny screw if you don't have any brads at your house. And then finally, you're going to need a marker to write with. Okay? So start off with one plate, and we're going to take our paper plate, and at the very top, we're going to write the number 12, and across from that at the very bottom, we're going to write the number 6. So we're starting with the number 12 and the number 6. Then, to the left, we're going to write the number three. I said to the left, that's to the right. Ha ha. And to the left, we're going to write the number nine. So we're starting off with those four numbers. We've got 12 at the top, then three, six, nine. Then we're going to fill in with our other numbers for our hours. So I'm going to fill in one and two. Then I'm going to fill in 4 and 5. Then I'm going to come over here and write 7 and 8. And then between 9 and 12, I'm going to write 10 and 11. So I have all of my hours written on my clock. And because I started with 12 and 6 and 3 and 9 opposite of each other, I can kind of tell that my other numbers are opposite each other as well. Then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut to the inside circle between each of my numbers. And I'm going to go all the way around my paper plate and cut in between all of those numbers. Okay, so I've cut in between all of my numbers, so I have these little flaps, and I'm going to put that to the side for now. I'm actually going to put it on top of my blank plate for now, and now I'm going to make my hands for my clock. I'm going to take a piece of my scratch paper and fold it in half. So I've got it folded in half, and I'm going to use my scissors. I'm going to start at the bottom, and I'm making sure the folded part is right here. I'm going to cut one long rectangle. Then I'm going to come out and cut perpendicular so that it almost looks like an L. And then I'm going to come back and make a triangle cut back to the very edge. So I end up with a piece of paper that looks like this. While it's folded, I'm going to come down toward the end and I'm going to cut a little tiny triangle out of it. You see my little tiny, tiny triangle? So I cut a little triangle out of it. That way when we open it up, now my triangle looks like a rhombus and I have an arrow hand for my clock. So I'm going to put that down. Then with another color, I'm going to fold it in half, and I'm going to make my second hand for my clock, and I'm going to make this cut just a bit longer than I had done my last one, so I'm making sure I cut this strip a bit longer for my rectangle. I'm still going to cut perpendicular to that cut, so it looks like I'm trying to make an L. And then I'm going to cut my triangle to the edge. Okay? 
So I have a piece that looks like this. I'm going to come toward the bottom and very close to the bottom. I'm going to cut out a little piece for my triangle. See my little tiny triangle? So that when I open it up, I have another clock hand. And I want to make sure that one of my clock hands is shorter than the other one. Okay? Now, if you're working with kids who are in second grade or below, and you want to write hour on the shorter hand, oops, and minute on the longer hand, so that you can work on that vocabulary, you are welcome to label your hour hand and your minute hand, okay? Now, now we're going to take our paper plate, our hour hand goes on top of the minute hand, and we're going to poke a hole through both plates, right in the middle of the plate. So I'm gonna use my scissors, and I'm going to poke a hole in the middle of this one. Whoops, watch your fingers on the other side. And then I'm going to go to the middle of this plate and poke a hole in the middle of this one. Make sure your fingers are out of the way. So I have two holes poked. And my plate that I wrote on goes on top of my plate that I did not write on. My hour hand and my minute hand goes right on top. Now, if you do not have a brad to stick in the middle of this, you are welcome to use a screw and you can come in the other side and just poke that through so the flat part of the screw is on the bottom of the plate. See my flat part of the screw on the bottom of my plate? And then the minute hand goes on top and the hour hand goes on top of that. And you can use that. It won't have anything to hold it down, but you can um, use that as a way to move your hour hand and your minute hand. Now, I did have brads for mine, so I'm going to pop that out. I want to use a brad on mine so that it all stays together. If you are using the brad, the brad goes into the top, so the hour hand and the minute hand are under my brad, in my brad, and then I thread that through the middle of the plate, and I lay my plate down, and I'm going to spread the legs out flat. And maybe smush it a little so that I can spin them around. Okay, now we're ready to do the minutes. I'm going to fold down the one and with my marker I'm writing my colons and I'm going to write zero five for five minutes and under the ten I'm writing my colon ten minutes Flap my three, 15 minutes. I did my flap for my four, for 20 minutes. Can you tell how we're counting? Let's see if you see the pattern. I had five, 10, 15, 20. Do you know what's gonna come next? Did you say 25? So when we're making our minutes on our clock, we're following the pattern of counting by fives. So I'm gonna do this all the way around my clock. Now, when I get to 55 minutes, and it's time for me to do the 12, I'm not going to write 60 minutes. I'm going to write my colon with two zeros. So if I had my hour hand and my minute hand was right here, I would say 11 o'clock. So that would be just two zeros. Okay? So that's 60 minutes when we go all the way around. Okay? But we read that as o'clock. So if you want to write o'clock, then you can remember that that's your O clock. Now, first graders tell time to the hour. Second graders tell time, and first graders tell time to the hour and half hour. Second graders tell time 
to the five minute marks. And then third graders are responsible for the times in between. So my third grade friends, if you want to do your ticks between, you would have four. So you would go five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's your four ticks. Then the 10 would be there. And then you would go from the 10 to the 15. You could do the same thing. You could draw your four ticks. That would be 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then 15 would be that part. So you would draw four ticks between each of your minutes. Notice that on my 15, I wrote 15 minutes and quarter hour. Because when we tell time to the quarter hour, we might say 11.15, but we might also say a quarter after 11. So that's the quarter hour. And then if we go to 11.30, at 30 minutes, well, that's the half hour. So sometimes when you watch TV shows and they're an hour to a half hour long, they start at 11 o'clock and maybe end at 11.30. So that would be a half hour. And then I did the same note for my nine, at, that's 45 minutes, but that's also a quarter till. So still staying with 11, if I come here, I could say 11.45, or I could say it's a quarter till 12, because 12 is my next hour. So you can now look at the clocks that you have around your house. Maybe it's the clock on the microwave. Maybe it's the clock on your phone. My phone says it's 2.20 p.m. And you can use your clock to show those times. So to show 2.20, I would have to show my hour hand on the two. And my minute hand, I would have to count 5, 10, 15, 20. And that would be 2.20. So I hope you have fun with your paper plate clock and I hope that you are able to do a lot of math with it at home. Stay tuned for more videos.